What's up guys, it's Bay here for another haul today since um, it's fall season or autumn and it's gonna be winter in a few months as well. Decided to buy a bunch of like long sleeve hoodies and sweaters. First item or the first items that we're gonna go through is from Victoria's Secret Pink. Um, I bought three of these cropped tees because they were only three for 25 so that equals to around eight dollars for one which is a pretty good deal for um pink and victoria's secret because they tend to price things pretty high so i got this like boxy long sleeve tee i got it in three colors so the black one white one and this like heather gray looking one at first, like when I first filmed this, I said that it was really thin, like maybe too thin for my liking, especially for the white one because it's kind of see-through in my opinion, like when I was first touching it. And I thought like I wouldn't really like this very much, but I ended up trying it on and it actually doesn't look too bad. Like, yeah, you'll see right now, but like for the white one, I was wearing a black bra from Victoria's Secret as well. And I thought it was gonna show like completely, like it's gonna show through. But then actually like, as you see, it's not showing too badly. Like it, it was kind of surprising to me. I mean, my hair is kind of blocking it, but you know, even if my hair wasn't blocking it, it wasn't too bad. Like you can kind of see the outline and stuff, but you don't see like the actual bra itself, which is pretty good. So um, three for 25, all extra smalls. These were a pretty good deal, so. That's great. The next Victoria Pink or Victoria Secret Pink item is this black hoodie. So it's textured, it's like a ribbed texture and it's really soft and um, it looked better than I expected. Like I know it's kind of plain already. It doesn't have like much things to it. It's just black and it's textured, but um, it was pretty soft and I think I like this. I bought this in an extra small as well for $15. It was on sale. So that was a pretty good deal. I'm pretty satisfied with this purchase, even though it's a little plain, but plain is my style. Next, we're doing the Abercrombie and Fitch stuff. So I got three items. So our first one is going to be this black long sleeve tee. Nothing too fancy, just a black sleeve with a one of the sleeves saying Abercrombie and Fitch on it and then there's a small little Abercrombie and Fitch again on the top left of the shirt near the shoulder area and uh, when I first saw this I thought it was like nothing special but it was actually really really comfortable and really soft so yeah I'm very like happily surprised about that and it smells really good too I don't know if it's because like they spray down all their clothes or like cologne or like the store is just so oversprayed that some of the clothes get it too but like when I first tried it on I got that like whiff of the Abercrombie and Fitch like smell like you'll know what I'm talking about you like walk into Abercrombie and try on something in their fitting room anyways our next item is this cream colored sweater long sleeve it says Abercrombie and Fitch in the middle of the shirt nothing too special again just plain cream sweater also super soft for all three of the Abercrombie um, long sleeves that I got. I'm probably going to tuck it in or tie a knot at least because they are a little too long for me, but that's okay. And then our last Abercrombie item is this navy blue crew neck sweater. I think I got this also from like $15 as well. I think all of my Abercrombie stuff were $15. They were all extra small too, by the way. But if not, I'm probably just going to put the pricing on the screen so you'll know but yeah um this was also really cozy as well um i mean that's all i gotta say like just abercrombie fits really well really nice materials too so i'm very satisfied okay and then this is what pretty much all of you guys are probably waiting for which is the brandy melville stuff so i bought three items technically two of which is relevant and one is irrelevant but i'm gonna show all three today because why not right but yeah, um, I got this cropped hoodie or jacket hoodie thing. I bought this for $28. It was one size only. There was three different colors. It was black, white, and gray. I ended up choosing the gray one, obviously. But I wanted to buy all three because they were like, 
I feel like this is really trendy and it's really comfortable too. So yeah, I had a hard time choosing, but I ended up choosing gray because I don't I barely had any gray like clothing because I buy a lot of black and white like stuff. I mean you can already tell from previous things that I just opened, like the Victoria's Secret and Abercrombie, it was pretty much all black and white, which is really plain for me, but plain is my style. I think I said that already. And then another one, or another thing I got from Brandy's was this long sleeve tee. So um, it looks pretty oversized, but I think that's just Brandy's style, like to just be oversized. Like when I went in the store and I was like looking for hoodies, there was this really nice black like tiger hoodie, again, black, but um, it was just so cool and nice and it, it had like Chinese writing on it and I kind of like understood what it said. I, don't, I would have bought it even though it was like, I think it was like 40 or like $30, I don't remember, but it was just really nice and I love tigers, but it was just so big. Like it was literally like an extra large. If you were to buy that from a different store and it wasn't, it didn't say one size only, it'll, it'll definitely be an extra large. It was like too big and it just looked too oversized, especially for someone like me who's already, oops, sorry, who's really like skinny. I, I don't know, to be honest, personally, I feel like oversized hoodies and stuff just doesn't look good on me. But when the brandy um, workers were, there's a vacuum outside. I'm not sure if you hear that, but I'm going to continue on with this video. I'm sorry for the bad sound quality, but yeah, when the Brandy Melville workers were wearing their oversized hoodie, it wasn't the same one, but it was oversized for sure. I don't know, for them it looks stylish and stuff, but then like when I tried it on in the fitting room, I just looked like a little kid. So I didn't buy it, which was sad. If there were like sizing and stuff, definitely would have bought it, but yeah. But anyways, this shirt was pretty oversized for me too. It wasn't too bad. The sleeves were pretty long, it was longer than my arms. So, um, yeah, but I bought it anyways. It was only $24, so it was pretty good. Again, one size only. It, it has the word Hawaii in Oahu on it because that's like where I live. And then last item from Brandy, not a sweater or long sleeve, but it's a belt. It was only for $10, but I did buy it from Brandy's. It was from Paxson. Like, I don't know if all Paxsons have this, but the Paxson that I went to, it had the small like brandy section. It's a pretty good deal. I think it matches with a lot of things just because it's black and it has a silver buckle and it's really simple too. Um, I'll also be making a future video about like how to accessorize or like how to make your outfit look better just because like if you're someone like me who has really plain style, you struggle a lot trying to like look good and not to look homeless or something, you know? Okay, second to the last item is this Hollister hoodie that I got. So originally it's $39.95, but then I got it for half off because I have an employee discount at Hollister. Also in an extra small, pretty plain. It's just a dark gray hoodie, drawstring with Hollister North, Ameri North American print in the middle. And for our final item, I got this Mr. Beast hoodie. So if you don't know who Mr. Beast is, he's a YouTuber who has, I think, 20 million subs. He has awesome videos, insane videos too. So you guys should check it out. He's entertaining. It's He's amazing too. So check him out. Um, um, if I know how to do this like little like pop-up thing, it'll be like here or here. I don't know which side it is, but... Yeah, his link to the channel will be up there somewhere if I manage to learn how to do that. But I got this hoodie and um, you probably can just tell by looking at it, it's really freaking tiny. So by the, when I was ordering, I don't remember, but I feel like a lot of sizings were gone. And I was scared to buy like an adult sizing because I thought it was like an adult adult sizing, you know, like adult sizing. But so um, I ended up getting a medium in youth because I was like looking at the size chart too. I was like, oh, okay, if my waist is 25 inches and this one should fit, you know, and my bust is this big. So yeah, I got this on a youth medium. I think it was like $44 and it's too small. Like right now you can tell I look like a, we're like kids. And when I wear it, I just look like a grown up trying to like fit on like kid clothing and like the hood doesn't even like 
fit on me that well. It makes my head look really big. Um, kind of sad that it doesn't fit because I do love Mr. Beast and I'm like a fan and the logo is a beast. So yeah, I'll probably just buy one in the future, the right sizing, but probably just gonna sell this off. But yeah, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, thumbs it up. If you like content like this and like more random stuff, then click the subscribe button and hit the bell notification as well. I don't know where I was pointing at, sorry. I just don't know what to do with my hands. Like whenever I'm like just sitting here and talking, I, I don't... Like, what am I supposed to do with my hands? Like, it feels weird to just leave them here. But anyways, enough rambling for me. See you guys in the next one. Bye.